All right, we gotta get this sleeve right here out when we pull our ball out. It's already come up a little bit, so hopefully this thing will come right out. All right, so our last U-joint in the dry shaft. Uh, this is plastic injected. Uh, <clears throat> so you gotta melt these right here out. We get this in here out, then we can clean everything up and start putting it all back together. Just go around in a circle like this right here till you start seeing the, the plastic ooze out about like a snake. Keep going around. All right, after you see it ooze out, don't touch it, <laughs> it's hot. But do the other three sides, and then we can start pressing our U-joints out. Thing thing was aggravating.
We're gonna get all this here cleaned up and start putting it all back together. These two items right here, it's gonna keep me from having to buy a new dry shaft. It's a needle, like a, looks like a surgical needle, shoots grease through it. And some ultra black. All right, the grease fitting broke off in there. Apparently, you can't get a replacement for it. Uh, I've called everywhere. Dealership can't do it. They want you to buy a new dry shaft, of course. So I took some ultra black. Cleaned the hole out real good. Took some ultra black put in there. And we can poke that needle through there and grease everything. And it, that right there, will, it'll swell back shut. It's better than spending a crap load of money on a new dry shaft. Take some brake cleaner and clean everything up. If there's any burrs or anything in here, take you uh, some sandpaper or a file. Actually, you need a file starting out and uh, get all them burrs and stuff. Get it all smooth. Take a little bit of sandpaper and clean it up. And then we can start pressing our joints in. <clears throat> so. All right. You got them little needle bearings in there. Make sure you set these caps up while you are putting your U-joint in. And keep eye on these needle bearings. Make sure they don't fall. You do not want to get that there in a bind. All the needle bearings are up. That's good. Start out by sliding this in like so. All right, you want to make sure that this right here, <clears throat> your U-joint moves freely. All right, whenever you're putting these in, always use hand tools for this part. Don't don't use a, a impact gun because you won't be able to feel if it's getting into a bind and if the needle bearings are, uh, you know, falling or getting crossed up. So, 
we should got enough clearance on this side right here to put the retainer clip in for sure Slide that in there like that. Easy and simple as that. Now we can slide this clip right here in. There we are, we got one side done. Remember, you wanna line your marks up. So you can put everything back exactly the way it goes. Don't forget to check your needle bearings. Make sure they're still standing straight up. Yeah, look good. Looking good. We'll slide this on like so. Take a hammer and just pop it. Just pop it a few times. See, that'll help. That'll help let them uh, bearing cap seat so it's not turning uh, rough cause premature failure event it could but i mean it'll loosen up when it gets on there but i like to loosen up like this so i know everything's working smoothly we're gonna start on our carding yokes now and put these u joints in 